So now we are creating our program. And we'll type it in just as you can see on the other the other screen there. And it might even be behind this window. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. There's our include standard io.h. So let's put that in. Pound include less than stdio.h and then a greater than. And we'll go down a line or two. It's uh, not important. We just need to get to the next line. And now let's put our program in. We can see it sitting right there. Main. Open, close parentheses. We can have a space in there if you want to. It's uh, not, not going to bother anything. It's all a matter of personal style. So we have the, the word main. Now main is important because that's a function that uh, the C compiler is always going to look for and that the operating system always wants to have out there as the main beginning point of a program. A C program always has a main someplace. Uh, one of the biggest applications I ever worked on, main, was just one line, and it called another function that really did all the work. But main has to be there because that's the way it is. That's what C wants to see as the first function to call. And when we're defining a function, and that's what we're doing here, we're defining what main is going to do. Uh, the first uh, thing that we put after the, the name of the function is an open brace. And that's our little brace there drop down one line and let's go over a tab I just press the tab key you can put three or four spaces in there four spaces is, is more typical and you can see that my tabs go a little farther but that just makes it easier to read so now we'll put the word printf and remember that's for print formatted another open parentheses because now we're gonna give printf something and that's what we want to be printed and that is hello space whoops can't type hello world backslant n for new line we said another quotes close parentheses and a semicolon a semicolon out there on the end tells C that is the end of this line this is a statement that you that you're telling C consider this whole line as a single statement and do something with it drop down to the next line now we're finished defining our function and everything that it's going to do. So we close up the brace. It matches that other brace there at the top underneath uh, the M. And we'll put another carriage return in just uh, to kind of clean things up. So that gets the program into hello.c. And now we're going to do a file save. That tucks it away on the disk and a file exit. Let's go back over to our Visual Studio uh, command prompt, and let's do a directory now. There it is, hello.c. It's a whole 63 bytes long, and let's uh, type it out so we can prove there it is. There's our pound include, our main, printf. Everything's there. It looks pretty good. The semicolon is where it's supposed to be. There's only one. There's not a semicolon after the main open close print. Don't put one up there. Uh, that would be bad, and I'll tell you why later. So we have our program all entered, and that's all we wanted to try to do here was to get our, our program into the system. We're going to compile it and run it in just a second. Let's switch over to Linux and do the same thing. Here's my VMware and my Ubuntu. There's my uh, uh, desktop. And we'll also make, let's make a directory, not change to it, called programming. Then we'll change dir to it. Now we're inside the programming. And here I'm going to use a, an editor that uh, is called VI, VI, and uh, the VI editor, I suppose I should call it VI and not VI. Some people don't like that, Unix uh, gurus especially. The VI editor will give me a, a pretty simple editor. If you're a Linux person already, you might have Pico. You might uh, use a different VI 
that comes with your system. There's a number of different editors. I'm kind of used to to, to Vi or Vi, and that's that's what I work with. So we will do hello.c, insert, and let's type in the program. It's going to be exactly the same program that we had over in Windows. There is no difference. I like to put the brace under there. VI is trying to help me out by uh, moving things around for me because it thinks it knows what I'm doing. All the exact same instructions. I'm hitting backspace to get it to go back over there where I want it. So there's our same program, printf hello world. Nothing is different, and it's on a totally different operating system, different environment, editor, compiler, everything, but the language is the same, and that is what is important about C. We'll escape out of there, and then we will uh, write that out. Now it's written. Now we'll quit. I'll do a directory here. There's our hello.c file after we did a directory, so we know it's there. And now let's uh, take a look at it. We will cat the file out. There's our pound include standard IO, main, printf. It's all the same. Now we have not compiled it yet. That's coming up next.